Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can also use Word to create mail merge label addresses, and this is very much the same as creating envelopes with a mail merge. So once again, you probably have a data source that contains the names and addresses of people for whom you'd like to create mailing labels. You need to simply create a label merge document and place the merge fields into that merge label document. To set up labels for merging, bring up a new document and go to Tools from the menu bar and choose Mail Merge. This launches the Mail Merge Helper, and it's three separate steps which we have to step through. In the first step, click Create and choose Mailing Labels. In the pop-up window that appears, I'm going to click Active Window to use the Active Window in the background for the mailing labels, or you can click New Main Document to create a new main document if needed. At that point, in Step 2, click Get Data, and then let's choose Open Data Source to open a pre-existing data source. Remember, if the data source that you'd want to merge with is not a Word document, then under Files of Type, use the drop-down and choose the type of file that you're looking for, like an Excel worksheet. Then select the name of the data source from the list and click Open to open the data source using the associated program. Next, Excel wants to know what cell range do I want to use from the spreadsheet it'll usually default to selecting the entire spreadsheet and simply click OK there. Then it needs to set up your main document. Click the Set Up Main Document button to bring up the Label Options dialog box. Here we choose whether we want to print dot matrix or laser and inkjet option labels. So let's say we're doing laser labels and for the Label Products drop-down use the drop-down to choose the manufacturer of your labels so you'd want to make sure you had your label box around or usually it's printed on the back side of the labels that you're going to use so here let's choose Avery and let's say we're sending out 5160s which are fairly standard address type labels click OK and that'll drop you off in the create labels dialog box here if you'd like to insert a postal barcode first you can click that button that brings up the insert postal barcode choose the field in your data source that has your zip code and then choose the field in your data source that has the street address and then click OK. In the next line down, which you can get to by hitting the down arrow on your keyboard, insert the merge fields. Make sure that you use appropriate spacing and punctuation. When the labels look the way you would like, simply click OK. And when you're ready to merge, click the Merge button in the Mail Merge Helper. That once again brings up the Merge dialog box, where you can choose where you'd like to merge them to, directly to the printer or to a new document. Let's choose New Document, and then click Merge to the right. And here's the output result and that we can then send to the printer by simply clicking the print button and when you're finished close it out you don't have to save that but you probably would want to save your merge label set like what you see pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free